Hi, this is Alex Design Man. Some time ago I posted this message on LinkedIn, so this is around two months ago. So I was saying this week I started refurbishing the videos in the Katiavi 5 Beginner to Advanced Automotive and Industrial course. So the idea is that uh, I started to remake some of the older videos. And I was also saying that I will make a YouTube video where I explain what changed in the course, so you know in case you want to watch those videos because right now there are over 7,000 students in this course. So let's take a look. So this is how the course looks now. This is how you would see it as a student. And in here, all the lessons are already published. So this is the Sketcher video library. This is the Sketcher workbench, which is the first part of the teachings in this course. And this is a screenshot with how it looked before I started to make those changes. So the section started with the sketch constraints which is still here is the same video but before that i added a sketcher overview video where i basically show how the sketcher works and uh, all the toolbars and the commands and after that i added the video explaining what are the main components of the sketcher which is the point line and the circle so everything in the sketcher is done or can be done by using a point a line and a circle so three commands and i also explain degrees of freedom which is a concept in cad and also in geometry but mostly in cad design it's important to kind of understand the degrees of freedom concept after that is the sketch constraints so this is a video that already was there construction element sketch profiles and then also added exercises in between so those do not have any resources because being the sketcher you start from a new file from an empty file which uh, you're going to make in your cut heavy five session so there is nothing to add basically you're starting from a blank page so i cannot attach a empty file here it doesn't make any sense and it's edit multi constraints and contact constraints so this is the first exercise after that we go forward with more advanced sketch commands which is the sketch operations toolbar which is a bigger toolbar that has quite a few secondary toolbars so it's the sketch operations part one then sketch operations part two is the real limitations secondary toolbar the transformation secondary toolbar here we do project 3d elements which is a command on the 3d geometry toolbar and on part five we do the last commands on the 3D geometry toolbar, which is still uh, to project uh, silhouette edges and other type of projections. And this one has a resource because on some of those commands, you need you already need a solid to make the command work. So in here, you have just a simple step file that you need to open and do the exercise and lesson. So this is an extra video. There is no part five here. There is only part four. After that, we have uh, exercise number two, which is sketch patterns. So quite a few students ask me how we can make patterns in the sketcher mode in Katia V5. So there isn't any command for this. I understand that other softwares have this command, but Katia does not have a command called pattern. Instead, there are other commands from the operations toolbar that have to be used if you want to make patterns. So in this exercise, I'm teaching you to do sketch patterns with Katia V5. After that, we have sketch analysis, which is an, this is an older video, and visualization tools in sketcher mode, which is also an older video. So now there are five extra videos on the sketcher video library section, and the time here it has increased from uh, 46 minutes to one hour and 30 minutes. So it's uh, almost double. So until now, I only refurbished section three, which is the sketcher video library and section four, which is the part design video library. And I'm going to continue to go forward and make uh, one video like this every two or three workbenches. Probably I'm going to make a video after three more workbenches. So in this section, there are a lot of commands that I haven't explained before, but I'm explaining them now. So this one has increased from two hour and 10 minutes to four hour and eight minutes. And there is a very good reason for that because there are a lot of uh, extra videos added. So first we start with pad pockets. See that pad now has nine minutes, pocket has uh, same seven minutes, sketcher profile rules. So pad and pockets, those are new videos. So I re-recorded the video for the same command because there were some details in there that I didn't like on the in the old videos. Sketcher profile rules. This is the same video, then we have points, planes, lines, and after that we have exercise one, part design. So this is an exercise where we design a part, and the idea is that in this uh, section we design a few parts 
that we are going to use and assemble them in the next session in the assembly design section so it's uh, an assembly that uh, it's inside the cylinder of an engine with a piston and uh, the parts that are used there exercise one part design so this comes after lines next we have hull which is the same video we have shaft and groove after that we have exercise number two which is another part for our assembly after exercise number two we have fillet and chamfer which is uh, an older video after that we have exercise three sketch and shaft so in this video we do a sketch and a shaft the shaft is the command that we uh, previously learned here next we have shell and thickness draft angle which is the same video rib and slot and then we have exercise number four which is a sketch and rib next we have multi-section solid and remove multi-section solid which is the same video part of body and geometrical sets so i'll show you about the bodies and geometrical sets here then it's body transformations we also have this video here patterns is the same video boolean operations it's here 3d annotation so this is the last video as it used to be but from here we go on forward with new commands and new videos so after 3d annotations we have two exercises where we design two parts exercise number four and exercise number six so those parts you can save them and uh, use them in the next section in the assembly design workbench otherwise you will find them you'll find those step files in the assembly design workbench i'm not attaching them here after that we look uh, for new part design commands that are a little more advanced that i haven't shown before which is the multi-pad multi-pocket those are simple commands in my opinion we have the trade and tap command then we have drafted filleted pad which seems complicated but it's a simple command drafted filleted pocket and then we have advanced fillets face face fillet variable edge fillet cordal fillet three tangent fillet after that we have the stiffener which is a simple command solid combine which is an advanced command and i'm showing and i'm showing here two examples on how to use this and then we have exercise number seven that also uses solid combine so we design a more advanced part with uh, this so in the old configuration we had 18 videos in our part design video library now we have 36 videos so it's exactly the double number of videos so the extra videos again there are exercises and commands that are a little more advanced that exist in part design in all kt5 versions next is going to be the assembly design video library so in here i already added the exercises with the assembly design where we assembly the parts that we did in the previous section in part design and you can also see the resources here engine assembly project so in this section i added two videos with uh, exercises exercise 7 assembly design exercise 8 assembly design where we uh, assemble this part of an engine apart from that i'm going to recheck those old videos i'm going to recheck the assembly design workbench to see if uh, there is something that i forgot to explain after this we are going to go forward with the drafting video library and on the general video library i'm going to check those videos but i'm also going to add new videos where i show on uh, how to modify some options in katia v5 because i know there are students that had problems because they have the katia installations with uh, modified options from the beginning and there are also a few things that are general in katia v5 so they're about the software that i'm going to show here so after i finish with those three sections i'm going to make another video and continue to go forward deeper into projects and the other workbenches that uh, i have in the course and as always if you see any errors in videos any extra sounds if there is uh, some problem some uh, issue just uh, let me know so i can include those modifications in the refurbishing so i hope you enjoyed this and see you in a future video